Okay, here we're told that quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, that's quadrilateral means a four-sided shape, and here it is in the right, right? Follow the order A prime to B prime to C prime to D prime, and then we close it. You know, it's a quadrilateral. We're told that that is the reflection of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So right here, A, B, C, D. And we need to find the line of reflection and then describe how we found that and, and what do we notice about these two shapes. In other words, what's the connection between the points A and A prime, the points C and C prime, the points B prime and B, and the last pair D and D prime, right? What's the connection between the points on these shapes? So first of all, what I would do to find the line of symmetry, I would connect the corresponding points. So C and C prime are in the same relative location on each shape. They're on that top vertex. And then A and A prime are both on the outside of the shapes, outside as in from the middle here. B and B prime are sandwiched between A and C. And then D and D prime are down here on the bottom. Let me just fix this line right here. Right, B and B prime, and then last we have D and D prime. Now, what I would do is kind of, and I'm estimating here, it's not an exact process, we're just using our intuition. I know that the line of symmetry needs to be exactly halfway on all of these lines, right? Because that's that's the way this, this works with lines of symmetry. When you have a line of symmetry and you're looking at it, right, you can tell where your reflection is because corresponding points are an equal distance from the line of reflection. So that means from D, oops, from D to the line of symmetry and from D prime to the line of symmetry, that these distances are equal. So this is X, so is this. And the same is true then for every other segment. This distance has to be equal to this one, right? This distance is equal to this distance right here. And last, these two distances are equal. And what that means, if they're equal distances on both sides, that means the point in the middle where the line of reflection is, is the midpoint or half, halfway point between, right, corresponding points. So again, you just draw those lines showing the distance between the two and then find the midpoint. Now the, and here we're doing this intuitively, you don't have any distances here. The last step is when you're drawing your line, it turns out the line of reflection, right, and these distances here, the directions of the points, the directions of the lines that go between corresponding points is always 90 degrees. They're always perpendicular to each other. And that helps us define, right, that helps us define the line of symmetry. It's perpendicular to the line connecting corresponding points. So when you connect D and D prime with this line, the line of symmetry has to be a 90 degree angle or perpendicular to the line you just drew. And that's always the case. So it's really helpful in, in thinking about the line that connects corresponding points. And again, all, all we're saying about these corresponding points is that they're in the same relative location, and their distances from the line of symmetry has to be equal. Otherwise, you don't have a reflection. All right, hope that helped.